Greetings and welcome back to Rimworld. So, been thinking about what to do, and I think I will make a solar panel farm back here. So I'm gonna be closing off this area. Let's yeah, let's close it off first. I hope they stand on this side to build it, and then afterwards, once this is closed off, I can open this passageway. I don't want to do it the other way around because otherwise if we do get attacked especially from uh, this side they will just uh, come in and that would be bad so let's start off with building a wall um, well let's let's build it right here I think this will be big enough I'm gonna build one mall first And I just gotta hope that someone actually goes and build it. Now we have enough sandstone, so that should not be the problem. And this is working as it should. It's actually going... That's weird. So he brings a um, stack back here. He tops off this stack and then he goes this way to drop the rest. Well, I guess that works. Oh well. Alright, so Severin is busy building that. That's good. We've got a build good trader. I'm not sure we have anything to do with those. They barely bring anything decent. I got these people sleeping on the floor in my building. How nice. <laughs> we also still have a pistol back here and a few clots. Uh, which oh, I was hoping Frog was going to pick it up, but no. Seeing as Frog can't haul, no, he can't. So the food situation seems to be decent, uh, we just need to keep an eye on the medicine situation, but uh, these are growing, so hopefully we can get a, a batch of these and then we should be good for uh, a while. We got a combat supplier this time. Right, where is Trovatelli? Asleep for now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait it out, it's not that crucial. We got a few things we can sell. Well, I guess these melee weapons we can sell and the rest we keep for ourselves. We got a, a shift down here that we need to pick up. We got anything back here still. And we got another uh, glass steel knife. That was probably the one that we started off with. Other than that, it seems like that's all we got. I think private time. How interesting. It's probably going to complain about the darkness now. No, he isn't. Just about the cramped environment. Oh, that's okay. Oh, right, and the whole... We had a... Um, that thing, psychic drone thing, but uh, it's gone already, so we don't really have too much problem with all of that. That's good. Now, is someone gonna build? Who's supposed to be building? Farmer. So what are you doing? Sewing area. Why aren't you building? Oh, wait, you're doctoring. Uh, who is building Severin? But he is cooking first. Alright, fair enough. Now he is building this part of the wall. I guess you could also use part of this area to put down a few uh, mortars, perhaps. Or I could use this area for it. I could easily make a passageway over here. Yeah, it's actually quite nice to have these... Uh, I don't know what to call them. Holes in the mountain. <laughs> Alright, so that wasn't very productive. 
by the time he got there he already found it necessary to go and play with the horseshoes that's kind of bad can i force you yes just go build it dude i don't care about your joy you're still happy enough and by the time you get there you're gonna need food i guess i could get rid of these chunks in here that might make things a bit smoother Yeah, now he's going away again. Alright, well, fair enough. I hope that eventually he finds time to actually build it. Could he assign someone else to do cooking? We could. We could get Trovatelli to do cooking. And then we get Severin to do only building. That should work out. Trovatelli already works down here for uh, research, so that shouldn't actually be any problem at all. Oh right, we had a combat supplier. Okay, well, I guess we'll uh, look at it tomorrow. If they are still there, that is. They are. Accelerate him up to uh, one fort. It's good. It's this anyway. Oh, it's a, a wall. What were we researching? Yeah, pneumatic picks. Okay, that's going to be quite useful. And I also have the machining table that I want to build somewhere. So that we can uh, disassemble these ciders. That's going to give a, us a bit of plasteel. Although I don't really need plasteel all that badly. And crap, he's gone. I should have talked for first, but uh, oh well. It's not too bad, uh, we didn't really have all that much to sell and every one of our people is actually armed now, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now he's actually building, hopefully he can finish this today. I'll probably make it a lot easier to make the next wall because I think I'll open it and then we can build the wall from over here on the inside so that should work normally we should still have room enough for the solar panels yeah we have plenty of room so that's very good and frog is being as productive as he always is just uh, doing stuff Alright, and is this working? Let's take a look. So, this is 28 degrees, the same as outdoors, so I think it actually is working. All the heat that is expelled from this cooler goes into the hallway, and the hallway is open to outdoors, so uh, that's very good. Exactly as I wanted it to be. berries here now all frozen very good and of course if we have a power surge or a solar flare we might have some issues with cooling here but still and we got a slave trader unfortunately we don't have any slaves but we could sell some weapons and we got another uh, what is it oh it's a magic wanna for once Alright, well, we still have this turret operational. Perhaps it'll shoot it before all my guys wake up. Can only hope so. Okay, it's down. Excellent. That went uh, very well. Hopefully Severin can finish this. Oh, look at that. Well, only that needs to be finished. So um, I'm going to open it up uh, like so. No, maybe. Well, let's just mine away all of this. We'll need all of this metal anyway, so... 
something like that. That'll be good. Now this is closed off, but let's get rid of the roof. There we go. That'll be nice. A whole bunch of solar panels. And... Yeah, now we gotta wait until he's done with all of this. Actually, I'm gonna make it so that he uh, creates the passageway first, so... Uh, let's cancel this, let's cancel this. Then he'll mine this and I can queue up a new wall that we can build. He also still gotta complete the hydroponics. It's August, it's gonna be September soon. So yeah, it'll actually be pretty close. And we'll need a sun lamp right in there. I guess I can queue it up already. I'm also gonna mine out this piece. I can replace it with a wall and then I can use that to um, put in a power conduit through the wall. And we'll need a door back there. Actually, I think this door might be on the wrong spot. Because we're gonna have these basins back here. And it actually might be blocked by a basin. I'm not sure anymore. Let's get rid of this plan. We don't need it anymore. Oh, we're almost there. That's good. Well, just uh, kind of waiting for things to happen. <laughs> Can't really do much at the moment. Until they finish doing what I told them to do. So we need this open, we need this gone. And we got a bunch of cotton now. That's good. I'm not even sure what I was going to use it for, but we have it nonetheless. And now we have pneumatic picks. Excellent. What else do we need? I guess we could uh, make some carpets now. That would actually be useful, seeing as we need most of the stone to build our buildings. And we have no wood. So that means we could build carpets. Well, lay some carpets in all the uh, buildings and that might make it so that people actually have some uh, beauty buff for their surroundings. That might work. Now, uh, let's, let's get this mined first because I want it gone. Now, of course, one problem is that we might still have some drop pods dropping in this area. That might be bad. So I do have to keep that in mind. Alright, there we go. And let's queue up another sandstone wall back here. Then we'll have two walls. I think I'll make another layer. Then we have uh, three layers, that should be more than enough to keep people out. And anyone that wants to go in that way is gonna... Yeah, is gonna need to dedicate a lot of time to it, so... That's fine. And we need some power lines back here. I'm gonna put it like this. I guess it doesn't need to be that far in. Like that, and like that. And all the basins should be able to reach the power line. I hope. Looks like we got a, another dry thunderstorm. Hopefully nothing vital is being put on fire. What's Fio doing? Resting. For some reason this isn't being repaired. That's odd. Let's put in a uh, 
Oh, we have, we do have a home region there. Okay. Well, it's odd. This was on fire uh, quite a while ago, and apparently no one bothered to repair it. So I guess we don't have any place to store all this cotton. Or do we? Yeah, we should have some room in here, I think. I'm not even sure where it is. Textiles. Yeah, cloth. People should be holding it this way. It also seems like all of this stuff is not deteriorating, so that's good. It's kind of weird because it is open. Normally things that are in the open deteriorate. Apparently this one doesn't, so... And now we got a fire. Oh, great. Here again. Well... Someone will go and put it out. Farmer, probably. Yeah. By the time he gets there, it's probably gonna be too late. Or not. They actually made it, but uh, someone will need to repair this. Okay, this wall is almost being completed. Oh, and this one is actually using power now. Do we have enough power? Uh, I think we do. But we're gonna need those solar panels as well. Because those basins are gonna take up quite a bit of power. So... Let's... Put down another power line. Uh, this way. To start off with. Then we need a bunch of solar panels. I want to leave some passageway for them to uh, go behind in case it does catch fire. I got one here and one here to start with. I'm gonna build another wall. And then they'll have a, a gap behind it. So that should be good. Let's continue this power line. I want to make sure that all the solar uh, panels are connected to the power line itself because Otherwise, if I were to connect them in between and one of the panels is destroyed, then uh, everything connected to it would also be useless because it can't transmit power anymore. So, alright. We have a decent amount of steel and it's almost September. I'm gonna queue up a few basins. Let's see how... Was I going to do this again? Um, wait a minute. Is this even right? I think I might have made an error somewhere. I'm not sure where, but if I put it down, they probably... Oh crap, we got a heat wave. Luckily we do have coolers everywhere, so I hope everyone is fine. I'm going to lower this one a little more to uh, 12 percent, uh, 12 degrees. This one is cooling as well. This one is still freezing, that's good. Now of course the problem is that the heat from... that this one heats up together with the heat wave, so... this one might heat up as well. That's kind of bad, but oh well. I'm gonna have to rethink this uh, thing again. But right, what was I thinking about? I needed these basins to be... So we get one there, that's good. They will be able to go there. And... I guess like this. Okay, I think it's fine. Yeah, they'll be able to reach everything. Okay, that's good. I kind of forgot how it all worked. I'm gonna start with these ones for now. I don't want to build too many because otherwise we will run out of metal. Let's in the meantime mine away a bunch more metal. Like all of this for example.
Oh, is this holding up? It's, uh, it's better. It's, no, oh, this one isn't doing too well anymore. It's kind of warm. It's still a few degrees cooler. So hopefully that's enough. This is a, a fancy bedroom, has the uh, cooler in it, so <laughs> this one will always uh, be somewhat fresh. Okay, well, it's it's working good enough. So, at least won't uh, melt in the bedrooms. So that's good. How's this progressing? About halfway through the Xerige. We don't have any medicine whatsoever, so that could be bad. We got one basin. Uh, well, these ones are operational now, so that's very good. We should be getting uh, plenty of power now, because they do output uh, not as much as a solar, uh, as a geothermal generator, actually, so that's pretty decent. Actually, no, uh, it's about half, but still, it's uh, good enough. I'm gonna queue up a few more basins. They're actually planting potatoes in those. I guess that's fine. We do have a cooking stove, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now we need some. Let's see. I'm not sure if I made a mistake with this or not. It goes like this, and then. Uh, yeah. This one is going to be blocked, the door, so I I got to get rid of part of this wall. Let's just mine it all, or almost all. Let's mine away this part. We shouldn't be having any roof collapsing problems, I hope. No, we shouldn't, so that's good. We can build one in the back. I guess I'll build it right there. Everything should be accessible, so that's good. That'll give us one hydroponics room. So, I think I also might need a few more batteries spread out everywhere and have some sort of battery room as I did the last time, because it's kind of useful to have some sort of area with batteries that you can use in case of emergency. That gives you two power nets and in case you have a power surge in one, you can still activate the other. That makes it so that you don't run out of power any... Well, never, basically. Unless something terrible happens, but... <laughs> well, in case something terrible happens... Well, obviously it's gonna be terrible, so... Uh, we got a slave trader. It's probably gone already. We got a lot of noise from all of this. Be a dry thunderstorm. Alright, well, slowly but surely we are getting into shape to uh, enter the winter. We got a half a hydroponics room for now. I'm also going to be needing a heater. So let's queue that one up as well. Let's put it in this spot. I don't think I need any heaters in the bedrooms. But I want to have one in this uh, hydroponics room so that I can keep the temperature at optimal. Now, thinking about heaters, I'm also going to need a cooler in here. So I kind of forgot about that. So, um, let's put it up like this on the other side of this one. Or a little further, perhaps. Let's put it right there. That'll do. I actually still need to build the wall. Oh yeah, and I need a new door. So... Wait a minute. So... I'm gonna need this one to be right here. And then I build a door... Right here, perhaps. That'll do. 
gonna get rid of this door once this is done. I think we ran out of steel right now, but uh, we should be mining a little bit back here, and we should still have. Do we have any in here? Yeah, we do. We got a bunch of steel over here that we could perhaps mine. Although I guess I'll I'll keep it right there. It's close by. I'm gonna mine outside first. So uh, we got a whole bunch back here next to the graveyard. Let's get rid of that. There we go. There's actually a lot of steel in this one. As you can see. We got another slave trader, but that's kind of useless. We got a bunch of plastic steel. Uh, we could also pick up all of this, but that's actually quite a lot. Let's pick it up. That's about two or three stacks. Alright, well, I guess I will be ending the episode right here. So we made uh, quite a bit of progress. We got a hydroponics. We got solar panels. And yeah. It's all going good so far. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.